You're gonna be a what? A nun. I mean, I don't see any other way. I have lost Ethan forever, and there will never be another man in my life. I'm going to join a convent. Teresa, you wouldn't last five seconds in a convent, okay? I'm going to join an order where I have to take a vow of silence, where I'll never see another man, and I'll never have my heart broken. Sister Teresa! Oh, oh, Mother Superior! Oh, I I'm so sorry! Oh, um, um, I know I'm bad. I, I just can't help myself. This place is not for you, my child. Go. Go find the love you seek elsewhere. You're right. I, I would make a, a lousy nun. Good. Now you're finally starting to make some kind of sense. Well, maybe I'll join the army instead. The army. Right, right. Look, Teresa, you don't have to leave Harmony just because things didn't work out between you and Ethan. But how can I stay when he is going to marry Gwen? Look, you told Ethan how you felt, and he had a choice to make. He chose Gwen. Look, I, I know how devastated you are, Teresa, but you know what? It is finally over. You can get on with your life. But I don't have a life without Ethan. Teresa, don't be melodramatic, okay? You should feel liberated. You should be thinking about your future, Teresa. Your education, your career. You have your whole life ahead of you. But I can't think of anything except how I feel. Well, what, what about fashion design? You used to want that? You used to want a career in fashion design? What about that? Of course I do, but I, but I wanted it all. I wanted to have a career in fashion and to be Mrs. Ethan Crane. Well, that's not going to happen. I know. And it's not fair. If the world were fair, Ethan would be with me right now. Well, it wouldn't be very fair to Gwen, the woman he's promised to marry. He's only doing it out of duty to his family, Wit. He's a Crane, and he's been programmed to marry a Hotchkiss. And if he weren't a crane, well, he would let himself realize that he loves me and not Gwen. But he is a crane, Teresa. There's nothing you can do to change that. You'll find someone, Teresa, and you're going to fall madly in love. Nope. I will never find love again now that I've lost Ethan. That's why I have to make sure that you find love with Chad. Okay, stop trying to invent something there, okay? Chad doesn't care anything about me. Well, that's not true. I mean, didn't he save your life not just once, but twice? Yeah, and I owe him. I mean, he almost killed himself when he pushed me out of the way from that falling construction debris. And he kept you alive when the prom boat sank? Even with his injuries, he was able to save you. I know, and I was so worried about him. He never should have left the hospital when he did. Even when my parents offered to pay, he refused. He has a lot of pride, Wit. Can't you just, just admit that you care about him? I mean, when you saw the blood on the chair at the book cafe, and you thought it might be Chad's, you went over to his place to see if he was okay. Yeah, well, a lot of good it did, Teresa. He wouldn't even open the door. Superintendent had to let me in. Well, was he all right? He said he was fine. Acted like I was bothering him for even coming over. <laughs> so, don't go thinking that Chad's heart goes pity-pat when he sees me, Teresa. Because it doesn't. I think you are totally wrong. And there is one way to find out.
Teresa, please stop. Ethan chose Gwen, not you. Oh, Ethan. Hey, what's wrong? Bailey got the measles. She can't be my maid of honor. It's too late to ask anyone else. I mean, all my other friends are already bridesmaids. Well, I'm, I'm sure we can find someone else. Even if we could, there's no more time left to have another dress made. Teresa! Teresa, you're exactly the same size as Bailey. You could do it. I can do what? Be my maid of honor. You want me to, to be your maid of honor? You would be doing me an enormous favor, Teresa. Besides, think of all the people you'll meet who could help you in your career. Oh, Teresa, I think she's right. Maybe you should uh, just go for it. Yeah. Excuse us for a minute. Look, uh, Teresa, I know this is a terrible imposition to you. And I know that you don't want to do it, but if you turn it down, it, it might make one suspicious again. Revive her fears that you are in love with me. I mean, she'll do it, won't she? Ethan, I can't be Gwen's maid of honor. I can't be a witness to your marriage when I love you so much. Teresa, don't say that. But it's true. Teresa, you did the right thing, okay? Don't listen to her, Teresa. I think you should stay right in Ethan's face. I think he's this close to changing his mind. Yes. It ain't over till it's over. Ethan, Gwen, wait! I'll do it. Oh. Right on, Teresa. <laughs>